when you find something, it's always something unexpected or something new. Or even if it were expected, there were other factors that you didn't consider yet that you need to explore. So it's a never-ending road. By learning the big picture about how the body works and how the body, the various organs in the body solve its problems, it opens windows in your brain to thinking about everything differently. Before applying to grad school, I was thinking a lot about applying to med school, which I'm sure a lot of people are who are in grad school and also who are in our program. And it just didn't seem like I really wanted to do the full MD or to practice medicine in the end. I've agonized over, over whether to become a doctor and go to medical school or whether to become a scientist and do a PhD. But what, what I really want to do is be a researcher and study disease. Basic science is great. But in the end, you have to make it applicable to the human body because we're here studying life and trying to help people treat disease. The goal of MOM is to take an incredibly talented group of young scientists, people that are, want to be scientists. They've decided they don't want to be doctors, practicing physicians, but they want to be able to do research with health importance. I think there's a lot of students out there that are really interested in both basic science and how that will translate into the clinic, but they don't necessarily want to do the full MD, PhD. MOM extends the time to get the PhD by about a year. Um, in practice, but then you also graduate with the second degree, this Master's of Medicine. One of the big things that Master's of Medicine has been making me look is just look outside of the boundaries that the scientific world is currently looking at and look more into the clinical literature and see what they are missing and look at our literature and see what the researchers are missing and try to bridge the gap. One of the great things about a medical education and particularly this first year and a half of basic science coursework that all MD students take where they learn about human biology and human disease is it teaches people what the questions are. It teaches people, it, it greatly broadens the range of possible questions. Now if you put that together with knowledge about how to do first-rate research you've got a young translational scientist who's going to be properly prepared and given the tools to be able to study disease. If I'm studying disease-causing organisms, I should know how disease progresses in the body. So if I know that, let's see, say I'm currently working on hepatitis C, and I know it attacks the liver, so then the question is why liver? The medical curriculum kind of taught me all the different ways that the liver functions and how it functions and how it is different than you know, your cells that line your gut or your stomach or your lungs. And I can start basically addressing the questions knowing that. I think the coursework has really given me a more holistic view of kind of disease and how cancer fits into that. I think I have a better understanding of everything, you know, from, you know, all the basic science all the way up to treatment and, you know, recurrence. With their clinical mentor, they can design a clinical experience uh, where they go into the clinic for about a month and they may go on rounds and they can learn not only about how those disease processes affect the patient's lives but what's known about current treatment and especially what the needs are for better treatments. I think it just makes me think more about how I can get things I guess from the bench to the bedside more quickly as opposed to just focusing on something that may be more related just to the scientific aspects. I believe it's the most intense educational program that Stanford University has ever created because unlike the MD-PhD program where students learn these things uh, in series, first they go to medical school, then they go and do their PhD training, in the MOM program they're actually doing their MD and their PhD coursework to some extent in parallel. So, you know, as you talk to the students you may realize um, they're working really hard. As difficult as it is, as challenging as it is, as absolutely you can't imagine how you could do that much work in a day, it's an amazing possibility to understand the clinical side of biology and take that into the lab. And I don't, it doesn't matter what you do in the lab, it will come helpful. And I'm a full believer in that. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University please visit us at med.stanford.edu.